GM CEO Mary Barra has uttered a statement that could spell doom for EVs. In a recent event, she was caught saying, We don't get to a million just because the market is not developing, but it will get there. This remark comes only months after GM decided to slow down its EV production in favor of gas-powered and hybrid tech. GM and Mary Barra had an initial plan to produce around a million vehicles by 2025, but several reasons had led her to admit defeat and retract her statement. Here are five reasons why GM is backpedaling from making a million EVs. Number five, lack of profits. The first reason is a lack of profits. It's no secret that most legacy automakers that have shifted their attention to EVs are bleeding money. Almost all EV companies are complaining about how EV technology hasn't reached the point of profitability that many companies had hoped for. And one of them is GM. Feeding off the optimism and unclear vision of their CEO, Mary Barra, the company set lofty production and sales goals which they failed to meet repeatedly. While the company faced highly publicized issues like the scarcity of raw materials for EV batteries, difficulties ramping up production and many recalls, there are rumors that GM deliberately limited production because they were losing money on their EVs. This is not surprising as Ford recently announced that it lost over a billion dollars from selling EVs in the first quarter of 2024. And the rumors are that GM discontinued production of their Chevrolet Equinox just because it was costing them too much to sell. Mind you, this is coming at a time when government support for EVs is very strong, and there are currently several incentives to make them cheaper to produce and more affordable. This is all in a bid to accelerate the adoption for EVs for climate change purposes. But even all that hasn't worked. Big companies like Ford and GM are recording losses, and EV startups like Fisker are going bankrupt. The competition is only stiffer now in the EV space thanks to the Tesla price wars that seem to be shaving $1,000 off the costs of EVs every single day. One major reason GM is not meeting its production or sales targets is that the company is still losing money on every EV it sells. However, most EV automakers believe their time and financial investments will yield crazy amounts of profit because EVs are the vehicles of the future. Do you believe they are? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 4. Lack of Entry-Level Model The next reason why GM's CEO is backpedaling from EVs is because the company has failed to create an entry-level model. One of the most attractive things about gas-powered vehicles is that you can get a decent one for an amount that most will consider fair. It is not like that with EVs. Some of them could cost you an arm and a leg, and they'd still come with so many hassles like charging and battery anxiety that could drive you off the edge on a bad day. Yet companies like GM have not managed to create an EV model under the $35,000 mark. For context, the cheapest EV in their fleet costs just around $35,000. This automatically makes many EVs lose any mass market appeal as the average Joe would not commit to a car that costs way more than their annual salary. When they tried with the Chevrolet Equinox, it cost them so much money, they had to halt its production, signifying that they weren't preparing to keep a low-cost EV like the Equinox on the market, let alone bring another. With the rising cost of raw materials and US tensions with China, it's hard to see how it can get any easier for General Motors. The cost of production can only rise, leading to a concurrent increase in the cost of the vehicle. However, the concerns of the people are clear. The early adopters who wanted anything electric have passed. Anyone who wanted an EV has probably gotten one already. The current shoppers need a logical vehicle, and GM is not ready to put that kind of car up on the market. If they can somehow pull off another relatively cheap vehicle like the Equinox, then they can be sure of high sales numbers. However, with the new Altium battery, it's going to be tricky. Number 3. Battery Issues The third reason why GM is backpedaling from EVs is that they have struggled with batteries and battery production. For a long time, GM poured a lot of money into researching and improving EVs, and eventually they found the Altium battery. The Altium battery was GM's secret weapon to accelerate its climb to the top of the EV market, but it is yet to live up to its billing. The Altium batteries were praised for how quick and easy they were to produce and for several other game-changing benefits. However, after only using GM's Altium-powered cars for three months, the company's pages became riddled with customers complaining bitterly about one problem or another with their cars. From software glitches to modular issues, the Altium-powered vehicles were riddled with numerous problems that the company paused the sales of its Chevrolet Equinox. 
It's no secret that GM has struggled with the electric part of EVs, and while they have managed to maintain a classy yet elegant build to their cars, they remain a top automaker, but for how much longer? The Ultium battery forced GM to review its goals and rethink what's currently best for the company's brand. Things look bleak for GM's battery production, as it only is going to get harder. Raw materials will be scarce and a lot more expensive. This leads us to our next reason why Mary Barra is backing away from EVs. Number 2. Production Infrastructure GM is only one of many EV automakers that have repeatedly spoken about the number of challenges still facing the mass production of EVs. Aside from the cost of raw materials for battery production, as we talked about before, EV automakers also face problems securing a steady supply of these raw materials. There are also more general manufacturing headaches like scaling and quality control, a part of production GM has struggled with. It constantly feels like GM has one of their EVs in a massive recall or sales on pause due to major software glitches or system integration, and that's because of poor quality control. Quality control can be difficult, but it is necessary to avoid recalls and major issues with EVs and cars in general. However, the software checks and reviews from GM are usually not robust enough to rule out certain problems that may arise from real-life use. Another major production problem GM has faced is keeping up. We highlighted their struggle with software and technology already, so it should be no surprise that keeping up with the rapid and continuous growth of EV technology has been difficult for the automaker. GM has had to continuously pump significant cash into research and development just to stay ahead and in the know. However, the main part of production GM has failed to impress in is integration. They have battled with integrating new EV systems so much that they seem to have given up altogether. The decision to ditch Apple CarPlay and Android Auto features that consumers have specifically requested shows how bad the situation is for the company. The problems don't end there. GM's EV aspirations have faced pushback due to a current dearth of EV infrastructure. Mary Barra was quick to highlight the lack of charging infrastructure as the company's major reason for pulling back. But we know that's not all true. The main reason that most EV automakers will fail to admit is the main reason why Mary Barra and GM have decided to go full circle on EVs. Number 1. EV Demand as we highlighted earlier in this video, people are not clamoring for EVs the way most automakers predicted, and it is seriously hurting them. After making huge investments and setting overly ambitious goals for EV sales, an icy cooldown in the EV market has brought many EV automakers to their knees. The final reason why GM and Mary Barra are closing up shop on EVs is because of their gross lack of demand. People who wanted electric vehicles got them way earlier, and they got Teslas. This made Tesla's stock rise to crazy amounts, and once legacy automakers saw the potential in it, they dived in without restraint. Enthusiastic and optimistic about how fast these EVs would be selling, companies like GM announced several targets they had for the production and sales of EVs, including GM's 1 million EVs by 2025. Most of GM's targets since going electric have either been cancelled, postponed, retracted, or not met. The decline in EV demand is real, and companies like Hertz know this. The company recently put up around 20,000 EVs for sale on its website, all of which come at a fairly lower price than you'd expect. All EV automakers have been affected by the slowdown of the EV market, and GM has it bad. The company has consistently failed to hit its target production and sales numbers, and even sneaky collaborations with Costco have done too little to boost its numbers. Not many people are interested in expensive cars that are time-consuming and difficult to recharge depreciate faster and lack skilled personnel for repairs. EVs are not there yet, and many of their early adopters have been learning this reality the hard way. As more events await, we are excited to see how Mary Barra's decision will affect EV sales in America and beyond. Do you think GM's decision to pull back from EVs is the right one? Let us know in the comments and thank you for watching.